In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a part from McMaster and put it into FreeCAD and then into your final assembly. Here is a, uh, let's say, a pulley that I got from McMaster. And you can see this would be pretty hard to draw if I didn't have it already, and it's already dimensioned. So I can just test fit it to make sure everything fits. And what I need now is a bolt that will go right here. I need a 5 16 bolt. So if we go here to McMaster, we can go and find bolts. There's nuts, a few bolts, eye bolts, threaded rods and studs, and screws and bolts. And then you have a huge selection. They have a huge selection of everything that you want. Hex, headed screws, um, just plain stainless steel is what we want. And it doesn't need to be great quality. All right, so now we'll look for the ones that we need. So these are all your dimensions. It can seem a little bit overwhelming at first, but I need a decently big bolt. There's quarter 28, so it's still pretty small. I need quite a bigger bolt, 5 8 9 16 it's a little too big. Half inch. Half inch will be what I need. And length, I'll go. We'll see what an inch and a half looks like on the bot. So you'll click on the product number, and then under here will be product detail, and it'll have a CAD symbol. So click on that, and then here it gives your dimensions of what it is. And up here in the corner, you can change what you want. You can change it to whatever file you want it to save it as. I want it to save as a 3D step, because that can import it into FreeCAD. Hit save, and you'll see down here, now it just downloaded it. Now we can go into FreeCAD, open up a new file, and the file import. And we're going to look for the one that we just imported. So I'm gonna to go to downloads and then look for it. Here's our file right here, stainless steel hex cap screw. Go ahead and open up the file, and here it is. And you can tell we just saved a bunch of time by not having to draw this. So to put it into my assembly, and to assemble it, I use Blender because the assembly module in FreeCAD is pretty bad, but here in Blender, it's a lot more smooth and I can really get stuff to work together really well. So double click on your part to select it, file, export. We're gonna export it as an STL mesh and then put it in your file wherever you want and then we'll import it into Blender. Now we're here in Blender and to import it, we're going to make sure we have nothing selected by hitting A and then just deselect everything. Import STL and then we'll look here for it. Bolt.stl and there it is to bring it up. It's our bolt. So to rotate it into place, we'll hit R and then rotate it on the X axis 90 degrees. So now we just rotate it at 90 degrees and if we hit 7 on the numpad. Five to go into orthographic view. We'll take the bolt, put it right where we want it centered like that, and then bring it down into place, just like that. And now the bolt is centered, and then we can add bushings, washers, stuff like that, so this bolt can, so this uh, wheel can still spin. So if you guys found this video useful, if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.